Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon's Dogma with me, Bring It Down. Let's enter the encampment. Hello. I know can't hire her quite yet. If you've ought to ask, ask it of Captain Mercedes. Must be near. Alright, let's do it once around the encampment before we speak to anybody else or progress the quest. George. What is it? No, oh, it's Wesley. Right, that's another pawn, I believe. Probably not worth bashing these crates anymore. More often than not, they don't drop anything anyway. All right, first journal entry. Excerpt torn from a traveler's daybook. Outlines the author's decision to set out on a journey. There was something else back here before. Well, until something else happens here in a little bit. looking shield. I don't think that's one you can get, is it? Save your talk for the captain. Whoops. <laughs> the captain over there with the white on. I think I'm following this quest, am I? Alright, nothing up there. Check these. Oh. We'll check the rest of the towers, but that's fine. We can explore it after the fact. We are near a riftstone, if memory serves. Yep, that's definitely a riftstone. Finally hire more pawns and create our own pawn.
It's definitely worth it to get those uh, Harspud milks. That's why I keep doing it. Those little things are pretty handy early on. They give you a little bit of health and stamina back. And the notice board, ruffled feathers. A warrior should have keen sight to strike even the smallest targets with precision. Lately the seabirds have been all over the fish we dry out in the village. Hunt some of them down and help hone your warrior's eyes. Evil underfoot. A plague of phantasms haunt the lands to the west. Spell them afford they can work any evil on the good folk of Grancis. I said against the dead. The catacombs are hearth and home to the forces of the undead. But they might be returned to death quick enough. The great numbers can overwhelm even a seasoned hand. They must not be allowed up to the surface. Basic training. Go and slay a knot of spiders. If you think this an easy task. I bid you think again. They will serve you well in training patience and vigilance. An eye for an eye. Reports of peddlers and pawns attacked by cyclopes or cyclopes have become a daily matter. The Duke has dispatched a force from Grand Soren, but the brutes are vast in number. There have been sightings near the falls and in the south. Go and thin their ranks. Absolutely. Okay. Break these, and we'll go check out that rift stone. Seems we need dispensation to pass. Oh. Aska. I'm sorry, no, Mercedes. <laughs> This game pulls a lot of inspiration from Berserk. In fact, you used to be able to get uh, both Guts' and Griffith's armor in the game, but they lost, I guess, the uh, contract whatever ended, so they couldn't use it anymore. But if you still have an unupdated Xbox version, you can still access it. Times are hard indeed. Have all you need? We are an inn first and foremost, but we offer more than simple logic. We can safeguard your belongings, or aid in learning new skills. Have your pick, any you like. Come again soon. Okay, actually, let's go and do that. We did level up our vacation once, I believe. Have your pick, any you like. What will it be today? Alright, so I learned some more sword and shield skills. What do we have unlocked so far? For augments. So fitness, have stamina consumed when you lift objects or grapple hold opponents. And vigilance, extends the limit of your health. Go ahead and grab that. I'll make us just a little tankier. Have your pick. Come again soon. I'm pretty sure the War Bugle, that's for a quest later, like a collection quest. Someone reminded me that the Seeker's tokens are as well, and I forgot all about that. Alright, enough wasting time. Claim to be among the Arisen. 
prove the strength of your resolve. Yes. Very well. Then we shall guide you in your trial. If you are an arisen in truth, this humble task will prove no obstacle. The arisen must possess the valor to stand against all threats and the power to quell them. A tireless spirit of self improvement grants the strength to lead the Legion. Pray, show it now. Search the area. All right, let's take a look around. We'll start over here. This dead end. Seems the soldiers make their beds there. The beast comes. Hurry. Sir Publius. Looks like part of a journal. I wonder who's. There may be prowling monsters about. Wait. Where's that journal at, buddy? Did he pick it up? I don't need to do this. I forget. When you get rid of pawns, all their stuff gets sent to the storage. It took me a while to figure that out in my first playthrough. Open this up? No. Okay. What purpose do you suppose this place holds? <laughs> I think I saw that guard to the back left. Time to go. <laughs> Rid of the goblins so the guards will help us with this guy. Cut him out a little bit. Oh. All right, not gonna cut him out. <laughs> Let's retry that. <laughs> so I'll probably do for this Let's Play is do, do two attempts, or I'll showcase one attempt and then I'll edit to the successful attempt. Maybe do a death compilation in between.
most attempts will have cutscenes like that, so it won't take nearly as long in the future. All right, looks like we're gonna throw in an edit already. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, this is only attempt number three, but we're back at it. Try and climb it, get to its eye. That's its weak spot. Nirvana wants to attack its leg. So most monsters have a couple of ways you can deal with them. There's some really cool interactions with Cyclops later on in the game, especially the armored version. Here real quick. This connects over to the other side. Uh, let's go and gather these two spots real quick. There may be materials here. Perhaps we'll find altered use. Yeah, I have to get used to getting one shot. Because again, I've never played this on hard, so I'm not used to taking that much damage. <laughs> Need to practice parrying as well. As but we'll get there. Set out from here and we'll be on the path to Grand Soren. Let's go ahead and store some stuff. Have your pick. What will it be today? I'll do for now. With that, the trial is complete. You are the arisen in truth, proven beyond any doubt. Now, I bid you select a companion for the journey ahead. They shall serve you and you alone to share in your hardships and aid you in every endeavor. Okay, we need to create our own pawn. I set the look of your constant companion throughout your journey as Arisen, your main pawn. Okay, I'll just throw in an edit. I'll create my pawn off camera, and I'll meet you guys back in just a second. Okay, and welcome back. Here's my pawn, Megan. They didn't have Megan available as a moniker, so I chose the next best thing, which was Mega Man. Let's continue. All right, you'll be asked a few questions. Your answers will shape your pawn's inclination. When faced with danger, which trait would you most value in a follower? Well, this is for me, so... Quick thinking. While in battle, which strategy would you prefer your follower to employ? Kill all enemies. Your follower rescues your party and turns the tide of the entire battle. What would you have them say?
Well, since you rescued the followers, yeah, quickly, after them. As a ruler, which gift would please you the most? Or most? Yeah, brave and just hero to succeed you. Alright, she's going to start off as a strider. Her primary vocation will be ranger. Sadly, pawns cannot be hybrid classes. I really want her to be a magic archer, which would complement my mystic knight very well. Unfortunately, that can't happen. Our fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the Legion's men called pawns live and die by your command. <laughs> My guy looks dumbfounded up there. I've learned a new way to fight Ariel. Having been recognized as a risen, you've been granted a loyal pawn to be your constant companion in your journey. In addition to this main pawn, you may hire up to two other pawns to support you in your adventures. Different pawns have different strengths, so use support pawns to tailor your party to fit your current needs. In addition to minding levels and available skills, a pawn's knowledge is another important part of creating an effective party. Pawns with appropriate knowledge of quests or foes can provide helpful advice and battle strategies. Alright, let's hop in. So this is the general pawn hiring process. You can find them wandering in the world, like we saw a few out in the encampment. But you can also find them walking on the road, so if you see one you like, you can hire them. The way hiring works is you can hire any pawn equal to your level or less than for free. Uh, if they're higher than your uh, player level, you have to pay RC, which you see at the top right there. Uh, Rift, Crystal. Rift Crystals, which are also used for other stuff, so I don't like to waste them on pawns. And we can... Yes, touching the stone allows you to seek and summon pawns or return to your realm. And yeah, we know how that works, so if we look at this... Do pawns by level. Uh, we, you can make a favorites list, I think you can have up to 100 saved. And pawns are your main pawn nose, so players online can rent your pawn out. And you can rent other pawns out from online. Let's start at level 7. Alright, different icons for different pawns. All right, so we have a fighter and a strider already, so let us bring... And maybe two mages. More healing, more support. I also do a strider, warrior, and sorcerer if I wanted. We'll start with this. These other pawns will wander off and the new ones will wander in. Yes, Arisen. Alright, what does she have available? Let's go look at her spells. So she has Ingle, Anodyne. Yes, Arisen. Not gonna bother with her. Yes, Arisen. Ingle, Anodyne. Yes, Arisen. That can be a lot going on at this level anyway. Yes, Arisen. You can go with Anodyne. Good. Yes, Arisen. Okay. There's a few more spells, so we'll grab her just because. Yes, Arisen. I am honored to travel with you. And I'll probably just keep rooking my party. Actually, let's bring another fighter. 
full aggro off my character. It's, I can get one shot. Pawns aren't affected by that, so they won't be one shot. Can't bring Galhad. I'll get rid of uh, ah, whatever. Guess we're keeping Kabuki. That, the way I looked at her stuff anyway. That dude is massive. Uh, Falcon's got a cool name. Let's start with him. Yes, arisen. Let's strike shield summons. I mean, I just need him to take aggro off me, so let's grab him for now. You cannot take on any more if you should ever need anything. Oh, that's right, I need to get rid of Rook. Uh, goodbye, Rook. Is everything in order, Master? We'll never see him again. Cross again. They won't. Sorry, buddy. Yes, Arisen. Yes, Arisen. Yes, Arisen. I am honored to travel with you. All right. Maybe a little time consuming. I might do a lot of that off camera. There's our party. Ah, a master in his pawn, is it? You'll be quite the force come the day you learn to fight as one. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. I can help in that regard, should you wish it. Okay, first things first, let's deal with our equipment. That's right, it's in a stash. Uh, let's go... Right, sorry, let me out of here, is he? What a jerk. The men of the enlistment corps never turn away the eager. We are ready to begin. Are you? Let me be clear from the outset. I'm a harsh master. Whoever the you. You'll complete three forms of training in sequence. Each serves to hone a different quality. You'll need more than raw muscle here. If you find a task too difficult to manage, you might reconsider your party. There are other pawns here. You can choose among them if you care to. The first task is carrying freight. Haul the lot of them before my count ends. You're free to choose your company, but this is a task too great for just one person. Many hands lighten any load, as they say. Now, get to it. We'll begin as soon as you're prepared. Just give the word. Your task is to haul all of the freight before my count ends. Get to it. On my way. Very well. Hi, Falcon. You go after the wrong one, buddy. The deadline draws near, sir. We must hurry. There's no time. Did we make it? <laughs> they all had one. Meet each challenge with that vigor, and you'll make for a fine warrior of war long. Next is combat training. You'll face my scarecrow army here. Destroy them before my count ends. A large group will be of help again, but you must choose your companions wisely. 
A company all doing the same thing is less effective than using a varied approach. Choose well. We'll begin as soon as you're prepared. Just give the word. I'm ready. You'll set about destroying scarecrows this time. Get them all before my count ends. I don't actually know if there's a time limit on these. You don't hear him counting out loud. Right then. Finally, you'll be destroying more scarecrows, but don't expect a repeat of the last. There are two sorts of scarecrow, each with its own weakness. One falls only to steel and brute force, the other only to magic. If you're not mindful of how you attack them, you'll fail. Strike fast and strike hard. Vary your party and your tactics until you find success. Use your head. We'll begin as soon as you're prepared. Just give the word. Well, it's back to the scarecrows for your last lesson. Destroy them all before my count ends. Very smart there, are you, Mina? Attacking the physical scarecrow with her staff. It will come in time. For now, reconsider. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should replace Mina. Then we'll try one more time. Maybe we get extra experience for it, so it's not the end of the world. These are supposed to be taken out by someone with a bow anyway. What I had it on the first try, I mean it wasn't sitting there attacking a physical scarecrow. I thought it's partially my fault. I thought I took out all the physical scarecrows in that front group. Well done. You've completed your training. See now the difference well selected partners can make. Yes, no doubt, no doubt. You'll learn the rest from actual combat. If you have trouble, examine your party. Have your strategy seem toothless against your foes? Try changing your party makeup, enabled skills, and equipment. Alright, real quick. Let's see if we can unlock something new for Megan. I feel familiar with this area now. I'm gonna leave. The vocation increased, as did Megan, so we'll take care of that real quick. Or not. I don't want this to start yet. Maybe it doesn't start yet. We can safeguard your belongings. Have your pick. Okay. Let us learn skills.
the I think shield drum increases the animation. It, so it hinders your taunt because enemies will start to attack you before the animation ends. I don't think I'm gonna bother with any of these yet. I'm more worried about augments than I am anything else, because we're not gonna stay in this class. What will it be today? Alright, we'll give her more stamina. She already has, was it? Garlic Kisses, concentrates a flurry of slashes on a single point, easily shredding foes with meager endurance. And threefold arrow, fires three arrows in rapid succession. What will it be? Have your pick. Come again soon. And core skills are enabled as soon as they are learned. Don't forget to enable skills and augments for your main pawn as well. Okay, I'm going to call the episode here. And the next one, I want to head back to Sardis. There's more quests waiting for us there. A couple of things have changed since we were last... There. I'm not going to worry about Mercedes quite yet. Or Casca. So yeah, for now I'm going to call it here. Our next episode, that's what we'll do. We're trying to make our way back to Casardis. Hopefully we're not interrupted. I don't remember the exact sequence of events. Um, but that's the plan. For now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.